Hey everybody, Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. Hope you guys are doing well. I will be uploading this video with some Nomad Internet. Link below in the video description. We, uh... We're doing projects. We're, we're, in the, we're in the middle of another project. If you missed my last video, check out this clip. So that's a little bit of a sluggy performance with Miranda and just a loss of power going up the hills. Catalytic converter was the main source of that sound. So came over here to my buddy Robert's place here, King's Auto Shop here in the Kansas City area. Although I think he's going to be hitting the road soon in his bus. Uh, he got under there for me and uh, took the cat out. All right, so there she be. There is my catalytic converter. And although I don't know a whole lot of stuff about these things, I've had to have these replaced. You're supposed to be able to hold this up to the sun and see light through there. It's making noise and it's clogged and she bad. She causing problems. Now, <laughs> you can see it does have an O2 sensor in the actual catalytic converter here. So I know what some people are probably thinking. Uh, you might say that we have some options with this. Uh, there's some things we could do. Uh, we could certainly just normally go to the store and buy a new catalytic converter, right? Unfortunately, no. Robert and I scoured the internet at all the local shops, O'Reilly's, Napa, AutoZone, uh, even the ones online, Summit Racing, Car Parts, Car Geeks. Um, all those, uh, we can't find one right now because of catalytic converter shortages. Oh, okay, cool. Um, I know what some people might do. Um, the RV is registered in Texas where we have vehicle inspections. So uh, because there is an O2 sensor in this, uh, it's, it's tricky, you know? I'm not gonna pass my registration uh, if I have a check engine light going on or other stuff. But Robert and I have talked this over and we've come up with a solution. And uh, don't worry, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take care of it, okay? Okay, because I want to get back on the road. All right. Good morning, everyone. It is the next day, and as you can hear, Miranda's put back together. Hers like a kitten. Catalytic converter is fixed. Fixed. If you look under there, it's there. That's all I'm gonna say. No check engine lights. <laughs> and I think once we start driving, we're actually gonna feel a lot more power with Miranda too. So definitely a big shout out to King's Auto Shop. I'll put a link below to his channel. He does work here in the Kansas City area, but I think he's going down to Florida to work on stuff this winter. And I gotta get out of here right now. It is time to pack up, hook up the car, get on the road south to warmer climates. Ooh, can you guys see what I'm wearing? The first time, this is the first time, guess what? I have an announcement guys, the new Nomadic Fanatic with the two kitties riding on my shoulder as we're riding a tater tot. Don't be a tater hater, yeah. This is the new merch. This is our, our logo, our sticker, our new t-shirt line through Bonfire. I'm gonna remind you at the end of the video also, but limited time, custom artwork done for the channel on a t-shirt. You can get it by Christmas through Bonfire. Link in the video description. Um, let's get out of here though. All right, we're on the road taking some back roads. We're gonna get into Kansas today. And uh, I cannot believe how much power Miranda has here. Granted, over the years, uh, put a lot of work into this RV, getting her tuned up, but she has never had this much power. Opie, how you doing over there, guy man? Yeah, you gonna check it out for me? Dad needs to find the microphone again for that camera, because I can't find it right now. But yeah, we're gonna put on some miles, head uh, south through Kansas. All right, we're just about two hours south of where we started today. Going to be checking out a new to me uh, free campsite uh, just on the uh, Kansas side of Route 66 up here. So we'll go get parked, then we'll unhook Tater Tot, and we'll go explore some, some stuff around the area. All right, this should be the spot. It is right off Main Highway here, but there's nobody here. We are the only ones pulling in right now, so. I'm gonna grab this one here by the edge where there's actually a, a driveway here for me to park on level ground so I'm not in the grass. And then we got that picnic table over there. Probably not gonna get much solar or TV reception though. Hey, it's free. It's free camping in a rest area. 
not bad. Fire grill here and a uh, little covered area with a picnic table. Thanks, Kansas. All right, we got Opie's new harness on here. Not too tight. No, nope, that's good. What do you think, buddy? You got to learn how to do it because this is your ticket to freedom outside, okay? You want to go for your first walk and see how this goes? I got to hook it. I got to hook it, man. All right, what do you think, Opie Dopes? It's outside. You can go wherever you want. And then we'll give Tara a turn too, okay? You wanna try walking? You wanna walk me? I don't wanna pull. There we go, I'll just kinda, just kinda follow Opie wherever he wants to go. You're laying down, you're not so sure about it? Those trucks are pretty loud, huh? Yeah, this might not be the best spot. Maybe Hims would like to try the table first. You wanna try the table first? Let me get this. Let me hold that. There we go. What do you think, guy man? What do you think, Opie? Too sure about it yet? You're pretty confident up on the dash while we're driving. Yeah, buddy. There you go. There we go. Good boy. What oh, a good boy. What do you think? That's crazy, huh? Yep, my little adventure boy. Daddy's adventure boy. All right. Just a little bit at a time. Don't want it to get too crazy. Terry, you want to show Opie how it's done? Want to show everybody how, how good you've been doing lately? Might have it a little bit too loose for her right now, but... Yeah, show Opie. No, Opie, you got to stay here. It was just your turn a minute ago. You're slouching. You're creeping. Why are you creeping, Tara? That's how I do it, Dad. I creep and I lurk. Yeah. Doing good, though. Doing really good, girlfriend. Yeah. You going to sniff some stuffs? All right. Ooh, does Tara love tables? What do you think, Tara? What do you smell? Crazy smells? Yeah. I'm going to go take the car out for a little bit, okay? You take care of Brusher? Take care of little Brusher for me, okay? All right. I know, I don't like those cars either. I'm not going to venture too far away from where I got the RV parked, but it's going to be secure and it's going to be fine. It is actually a lot easier to disconnect Tater Tot and take smart car out than it was to do the motorcycle thing. It's quicker, easier, it's a little simpler for me. I just wear gloves because oils and road grime and stuff like that. We'll unhook the power for that. There. That guy. That guy. Uh, sometimes it gets bound up though. There we go. Ah, Eric! Ah. Good grief! Why do I have to complicate everything? Ah. 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 All right, and then that looks all good. You might not even know that someone's gone from the RV. It is just so nice and makes me so happy to have Tater Tot, my little smart car, for scootling around. Yeah. It feels really good to be back on a portion of Route 66, finally. It's been a while. This is the only time I'm going to intersect with it on this particular trip here. It's through a little part of Kansas 66 here in Kansas. Beautiful. What a beautiful day in Kansas in December. Holy cow. But it's really nice having Tater Tot to be able to just park in little spots like this where the motorhome couldn't have gotten anyway. So I do love Tater Tot. I'm very glad I decided to take this instead of the motorcycle. Oh, wait a minute. Let me roll the window down here. And we'll see what we're driving over here. Well, Route 66 Shield of Kansas. Yeah. It's actually just a very small sliver of Route 66 in Kansas. They didn't get a whole lot of the route, but um, I'm turning this light and, uh, wow, that's a bright building. Oh my gosh, look at that old Pepsi advertise. That's painted right on the side. Man, let me roll the window down. That is sweet. Oh, does this feel like Route 66 or what? Oh, whoa, wait a minute, I gotta turn it in real quick. That's new. Oh, this is great. 
Oh, he told me it's closed off for a private event. I shouldn't have even pulled in. But usually it's open to the public, but they, they apparently uh, rented the space out today, so I gotta go. Man, this feels so good. Just traveling down the original mother road. It's changed quite a bit over the years, but here's another shield coming up right in front of us. Kansas US 66. This is the route, guys. All right, where's my Disney uh, Cars fans? Route 66, Cars on the route. This one's closed too. Huh. But yeah, look, they got three of them. They got the, the fire truck version there. That looks like a female Tomator with her eyes there. See, she's got the, the eyelashes. I don't know if that was intentional or anything. Radiator Springs. Yep. And then this one here may be one of the originals also. Yeah. Cool. Well, I'm filming this today, a day before you guys will see it. It is uh, Wednesday, December 1st. It's 2.30 in the afternoon, and they should be open. They should be, but they're closed. And Gearhead Curios is closed for a special event. Bummer. Bummer. <laughs> okay, I want to get a magnet. Wait a minute. What is that? We got to go over there. Oh, man. Is this new? I think Sean was telling me that this might be... New. I definitely have never seen it before. I don't know how long it's been here, but we got the dock up here looking for people coming into town. We got Luigi's Pit Stop where he'll pimp you out, get you some, some nice new tires there. And we got Lightning McQueen, everybody. Pizzazz! Yeah! <laughs> That's great. Tractors tipped over. Welcome Route 66 Cruisers. Here on this little slab, they got, uh, looks like all the states. It's almost like a map starting California. There's an Arizona one. They just kind of painted it along. There's also a pole that tells you all the different spots. Well, since they were closed anyway, I pulled Tater Tot up to the pump so I could get a nice little picture for Instagram. Yeah. You guys follow me on Instagram? Check it out. Link in the video description, nomadicfanatic.tv on Instagram. You can see some of these places before I post them on YouTube. I want to go find something to eat. We got to eat on Route 66, right? Got it. Looking for a restaurant on Route 66. I don't know why, but I could really go for a nice cold Coca-Cola right now. I feel like something's telling me that get a load of this old clock. It's got, uh, you can see it on all four sides. Man, that's really cool. And another uh, Route 66 Galena, Kansas uh, mural here. We were just there at the Cars on the Route. They've added a couple since. Oh man, how do I find this stuff? There's, look at this old carriage in here. Cozy, it's like one of those Amish old time wooden wheel carriages here. And this place is called Sweet Creek Diner and Bakery on Route 66. You gotta be kidding me, they closed at two today. 2 p.m., that's a weird time to close. I am striking, I'm still enjoying Route 66 here in Galena, Kansas, but um, my other options, I asked them where else should I go? She said, well, we have two Mexican restaurants in town. I don't know, just not feeling like a margarita right this exact second. I'm gonna go try something else. I mean, sometimes you just can't win, so I'm gonna pull in here to a Sonic because I didn't even eat breakfast today. I am absolutely starving, and I can't wait any longer. So, we're gonna find something here. What do we got here? Stuff. I don't think Sonic does the old school trays where they sit them out here on there like that. I don't think they do that anymore. I don't think they wear roller skates either. Maybe they do. Big old negative on the roller skates. Maybe some, some places do do the roller skates, but not here. I got me a, a nice, healthy, chili hot dog and cheese yeah oh geez. oh geez throw it on the ground is the speaker still on <laughs> what's in this magical little bag here yeah buddy tater tots don't be a tater hair Woo! Woo. that actually surprisingly really hit the spot one other stop i want to make before heading back to see the kitties one more stop Good day. Too bad I couldn't eat at that really cool quirky restaurant though. Another time maybe, before 2 p.m. Okay. All right, just made a turn off of, well, what they call Route 66, but as you can see the shield in front of the car there and this sign, this is historic Route 66. And uh, right up here around the corner is something a little unique as we drive into the sun here. We are approaching the oldest 
Marsh Arch Bridge in the country and the only surviving such bridge on Route 66. And we can drive over it here in the car. It closed in 1960, but then was restored in 1990. And uh, you might even be able to fit an RV across this. It's the uh, Bush Creek off down on the bottom there. And uh, we are driving on a piece of American history here. I'm gonna park over here on the side so we can go back and, and walk this section also. There are many places, in fact, here on Route 66 where you will find that even though stuff has been shut down and, and neglected in the past, it's kind of brought back to life. And there's a lot of history of this bridge. Right now it's only a one-way bridge, but back in the day, can you imagine having two Model A cars, you know, side by side with like barely any room? Yeah, it was probably kind of scary. They keep this one pretty clean also. They're constantly having to, unfortunately, come back out with paint and touch up all the stupid stuff that people graffiti on, on American history here. But they do do a pretty good job and looks like, looks like Sean may have done a burnout right here in Betty White. I can see the tire, I recognize those tire patterns there. And the Bush Creek right there. Yeah. This historic bridge does also have a name that I have not mentioned yet. I'm gonna tell you, the name of this bridge is the Rainbow Bridge here in Galena, Kansas. The Rainbow Bridge. <laughs> uh, not any connection to what we now dub Rainbow Bridge to mean, and that being uh, when your beloved pet uh, passes the bridge. And I don't know, <laughs> I didn't even want to say the name Rainbow Bridge, but um, anyway, I have something very special to share with you when we get back to the RV. Something I've been working on for several weeks now, and um, it's done. It's complete. So let's go head back and see those kitties. Check in on them, probably feed them dinner. Why are you guys looking at me like that? I will feed you when it's time to feed the kitties. Because Dad knows. It's not time yet. I have to wait a little longer. Don't give me that look. How do you know? Do you wear a watch? Then how would you know, Opie? Terry, you don't know either. We'll have dinner in a little bit, though. All right, guys. I love my kitty family. So, many of my viewers uh, noticed a couple videos ago that I had taken down the Jack's King Cat portrait that was right here that's been here for a couple years, actually. But, unfortunately, a lot of people had some really nasty, stupid things to say about it. Like, Eric, why are you just getting rid of Jack's out of your life? Everybody thinks they know everything. Um... Yes, it's been very difficult for me to move on and, and realize that Jax is no longer with us. He was a part of my life for 11 years. He's in all the videos that I look back on, all the pictures and memories on Facebook and Instagram and everything. I will never forget, forget him. That's why I put together something very special here inside the RV. I gave Jax his own special corner here that you are going to see from now on anytime I'm talking while I'm working at the computer. I want to show you what I did. I moved Jax's portrait to the sidewall here. I also put up this uh, tapestry that a friend made for me when Jax was only five. Kind of like a skinny face Jax. This is the Jax that I remember. And as you can see, I have a sh custom made shadow box for Jax. And uh, it says on it, you are my favorite hello and my hardest goodbye. And um, inside here are the ashes from the company that I don't know. Um, I did put a screw through it so that this drawer won't come in and out, but those are supposedly Jax's ashes. There's also Jax's fur right there on the side. Um, I used some hot glue and I put Jax's very first toy, Mr. Quackers. I cut the bungee off of him. Got Mr. Quackers there on the bottom with three treats over there. Of course, a bottle cap. And, um, his banana catnip toy. Sorry, guys. Jax's collar. Yeah, and some pictures. There's baby pictures. There's big Jax in my arms there. Kind of hard to see with the glare. Jax with Santa. Jax at our favorite spot in Florida. Jax talking to birds. And the last picture I have of Jax, actually, him on the dash. That's, um, Lake Whitney there. <laughs> Then we've got all of Jax's ID tags that I'd gotten him. He has eight of them, even though he's 11. 
we got him eight of these and, uh, and then a couple wood laser cut pictures of Jack's and then this beautiful piece here there's where I put the plaque for Jack's the real YouTube star and um, now I can remember him and appreciate impact that he had on my life I'm sorry I'm really emotional just because I don't show my emotions like this constantly in every second of my video the last few weeks doesn't mean I don't miss him any less. It's still hard every day. Every memory is tough. I love him. And I miss him. And so I have this for him to remember him by. Yes, now it's dinner time. You're right, and now it's dinner time, okay? Opie, Tara went ahead and made the call. Said it's dinner time, okay? All right, dude. What, Opie? What? Oh, Tara too? You guys ready for them? <laughs> I go ahead and give them the same portions because it really doesn't matter. Uh, they kind of just share between each other. It depends on who's hung hungrier in, in which situation. But, oh, sorry about that, dude. There you go, guys. All right. Enjoy your din-din, guys. Okay. I love those babies. I love those kitty babies. Lastly, you guys want to get a Nomadic Fanatic Don't Be a Tater Hater t-shirt, hoodie, sweatshirt, or a coffee cup? Let me show you how to do that inside on the computer. All right, so if you're looking at my video and you scroll down underneath the title, this is my last video, but right here where you see these blue hyperlinks, I'm gonna click open description. It might open it up on the side over here where you're gonna see three links, one for t-shirts, one for hoodies, and one for coffee mugs. So if you click it, it'll take you to Bonfire. That's where we are working through once again. They've done really well. You can select which color. There's gray, black, teal, with ice blue and red for that. And then just check your size right there, okay? And then these will be shipped immediately. They're not waiting until the campaign is done. As soon as you order, they ship. Right now, they're saying December 10th. So you can definitely get these before Christmas. I wanna show you the uh, coffee mugs here. I'll click on this one. Look at those coffee cups. You have uh, three options. They have the large one, which is a 15 ounce coffee mug. And also I really like the uh, two-tone here. I picked the black one. So it's got the black handle, black inlay. Don't be a tater hater coffee cup there. Um, they are gonna be shipping all these out and taking care of all my shipping for me so I can continue to travel on the road. But yeah, anyway, look underneath the video in the video description for those blue links to Bonfire. And thank you for supporting the channel, guys. I can't wait to see some of that swag on you guys in Quartzsite, Arizona here later. I'm working my way there. I gotta stop through Texas first to get the RV and Tater Tot registered. I already got the motorcycle registered, but still got some work to do. Anyway, gonna get some sleep, gonna do some editing, and then we're gonna get right back on the road and go explore something new in my next video. So thanks for joining me, guys. Opie, Tara, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.